While the magnetic poles often wander, some scientists are concerned about the current rapid movement of the North Magnetic Pole across the Northern Hemisphere. This speed, alongside the weakening of Earth's magnetic field by around 9% in the past 170 years, could indicate an upcoming reversal. A magnetic pole reversal or extreme change in sun activity would be unprecedented climate change accelerants. A dramatic ancient climate change, which was hallmarked with widespread auroras, could help explain other evolutionary mysteries, like the extinction of Neanderthals. If a similar event happened today, the consequences would be huge for modern society. Incoming cosmic radiation would destroy our electric power grids and satellite networks. The temporary breakdown of Earth's magnetic field 42,000 years ago sparked major climate shifts that led to global environmental change and mass extinctions. This dramatic turning point in Earth's history, laced with electrical storms, widespread auroras, and cosmic radiation, was triggered by the reversal of Earth's magnetic poles and changing solar winds. The researchers dubbed this dangerous period the Adams Transitional Geomagnetic Event, or Adams Event, for short. While scientists already knew the magnetic poles temporarily flipped around 42,000 years ago, they didn't know exactly how it impacted life on Earth, if at all. The researchers compared the newly created timescale with records from sites across the Pacific and used it in global climate modeling, finding that the growth of ice sheets and glacier over North America and large shifts in major wind belts and tropical storm systems could be traced back to the Adams event. The new timescale helps reveal the picture of this dramatic period in Earth's history. Scientists were able to reconstruct the chain of environmental and extinction events using climate modeling. The more we look at the data, the more everything points to 42,000 years ago. One of their first clues was that megafauna, across most of the world, went through simultaneous extinctions 42,000 years ago. This had never seemed right, because it was long after people settled most of the world, but around the same time that the environment shifted to the current warmer state. The Adams event could explain a lot of other evolutionary mysteries, like the extinction of Neanderthals and the sudden widespread appearance of figurative art in caves around the world. It's the most surprising and important discovery in the history of paleoastronomy. The event was the perfect cosmic storm. The magnetic north pole, that is, the direction a compass needle points to, doesn't have a fixed location. It usually wobbles close to the North Pole, the northernmost point of Earth's axis, over time due to dynamic movements within the Earth's core, just like the magnetic South Pole. Sometimes, for reasons that aren't clear, the magnetic pole's movements can be more drastic. Around 41,000 to 42,000 years ago they swapped places entirely. The event was the last time the magnetic poles flipped. They swapped places for about 800 years before changing their minds and swapping back again. Until now, scientific research has focused on changes that happened while the magnetic poles were reversed, when the magnetic field was weakened to about 28% of its present-day strength. But according to recent findings, the most dramatic part was the lead-up to the reversal, when the poles were migrating across the Earth. Earth's magnetic field dropped to only 0.6% strength during the Adams event, we essentially had no magnetic field at all, our cosmic radiation shield was totally gone. During the magnetic field breakdown, the Sun experienced several grand solar minima, long-term periods of quiet solar activity. Even though such an event means less activity on the Sun's surface, the weakening of its magnetic field can mean more space weather, like solar flares and galactic cosmic rays, could head Earth's way. Unfiltered radiation from space ripped apart air particles in Earth's atmosphere, separating electrons and emitting light, a process called ionization. The ionized air fried the ozone layer, triggering a ripple of climate change across the globe. From auroras to lightning storms, the sky would have put on quite a show during the event. Dazzling light shows would have been frequent in the sky during the Adams event. Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis, also known as the Northern and Southern Lights, are caused by solar winds hitting the Earth's atmosphere. Usually confined to the polar northern and southern parts of the globe, the colorful sights would have been widespread during the breakdown of Earth's magnetic field. Early humans around the world would have seen amazing auroras, shimmering veils, and sheets across the sky. Ionized air, which is a great conductor for electricity, would have also increased the frequency of electrical storms. It must have seemed like the end of days, especially in the northern hemisphere. 
ancient relics point to a turning point in Earth's history 42,000 years ago, and a paleo-apocalypse. The researchers theorize that the dramatic environmental changes may have caused early humans to seek shelter in caves. This could explain the sudden appearance of cave art around the world roughly 42,000 years ago. Popular culture makes us believe that people were always living in caves in the past, but 40,000 years ago humans and Neanderthals were mostly living in wooden structures. People only used caves in extreme weather and probably as centers for religion. The so-called Stone Age began about 2.6 million years ago, when researchers found the earliest evidence of humans using stone tools, and lasted until about 3300 BC. It is typically broken into three distinct periods, the Paleolithic period, Mesolithic period, and Neolithic period, also known as Early, Middle and Late Stone Age. The transition from the Middle Stone Age to the Late Stone Age is thought to have occurred between 50,000 and 39,000 years ago. Scientists think that the sharp increases in UV levels, particularly during solar flares, would suddenly make caves very valuable shelters. The common cave art use of red ochre handprints may signal it was being used as sunscreen, a technique still used today by some people around the world. The amazing images created in the caves during this time have been preserved, while other art out in open areas has since eroded, making it appear that art suddenly starts 42,000 years ago. The center of this cave art from El Castillo Cave in Spain is believed to be almost 42,000 years old, the same age as the Adams event. Six paintings of seals are at least 42,000 years old and are the only known artistic images created by Neanderthal man, experts claim. The discovery has been described as an academic bombshell, as all previous artwork has been attributed to Homo sapiens. The paintings were found in the Nerja Caves, 35 miles east of Malaga in the southern region of Andalusia. Spanish scientists sent organic residue found next to the paintings to Florida, where they were dated at being between 43,500 and 42,300 years old. Neanderthals lived in the caves before becoming extinct about 30,000 years ago, leaving behind flint tools. Later, prehistoric Homo sapiens used the caves, painting on the walls and leaving pottery, tools and skeletons. Neanderthals, who were known to eat seals, are thought to have died out from competition with Homo sapiens, although scientists recently suggested they were wiped out by climate change. Previously the oldest works of art in the world were said to be 32,000-year-old images in the Chauvet Cave in southern France. The cave art findings come two years after an ancient cowrie tree was uncovered in New Zealand. The massive tree, with a trunk spanning over two and a half meters, was alive during the event. Like other entombed cowrie logs, the wood of the tree is so well preserved that the bark is still attached. Using an ancient cowrie tree log from New Zealand, scientists have dated the timing and environmental impacts of the last magnetic pole switch. For the first time ever, we have been able to precisely date the timing and environmental impacts of the last magnetic pole switch. The findings were made possible with ancient New Zealand kauri trees, which have been preserved in sediments for over 40,000 years. Using the ancient trees we could measure, and date, the spike in atmospheric radiocarbon levels caused by the collapse of Earth's magnetic field. But the researchers were able to create a detailed timescale of how Earth's atmosphere changed over this time by analyzing rings on the ancient cowrie trees. The cowrie trees are like the Rosetta Stone, helping tie together records of environmental change in caves, ice cores and peat bogs around the world. Using radiocarbon dating, a technique to date ancient relics or events, a team tracked the changes in radiocarbon levels during the magnetic pole reversal. This data was charted alongside the tree's annual growth rings, which acts as an accurate, natural timestamp. The findings confirmed the 42,000-year date.